hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we're gonna learn how to crochet an oval base for bags with t-shirt yarn so if you're ready let's get started so this is the yarn that I'm using it's seven nine millimeters it's very stretchy you can easily work with it and this is a six four and five millimeters crochet hook so as always we're gonna start with the slip knot and then we're gonna chain 13 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13. We're gonna skip the first chain. We're gonna go on to the next one. We're gonna do one slip stitch. We're gonna work one slip stitch in every stitch until the end of the row. So this is our last slip stitch. This is how it looks. We're gonna take this small tail, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull it to the last stitch that we work. From the other end you're gonna count 12 stitches and to the 12 one you're gonna insert the hook. Then you're gonna yarn over, bring the yarn, chain one and this will be our first stitch you're gonna do one single crochet into the next 11 stitches So I've made my 11 stitches into the last stitch here. You're gonna work three single crochet into the same stitch. So here is one, two, and three. Now we're gonna work on the other way. We're gonna work again 11 single crochet. One single crochet into the next 11 stitches. Into the last stitch you're going to work three single crochet into the same stitch. So here is one, 
two and three. So first row is ready. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to close it. So you're going to take out your crochet hook. You're going to skip the first stitch. You're going to go into the second, but from the back, insert the hook, bring this yarn over the hook and pull through the stitch. Now we're going to go into the stitch that we skipped. We're going to insert the hook under this loop here and we're going to go into the skip it stitch. Bring the yarn over the hook, pull the thread a little, then you're going to chain one and this will be our first stitch. So we have our first stitch, now we're going to work one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. But we're not going to work a normal single crochet. As you can see in every stitch we have a V stitch, these two loops here. You're going to insert the hook in, uh, in the middle of these two loops. So insert the hook there. As you can see in the back it's the same, it's a V stitch. Yarn over, do a single crochet. Go into the next V stitch, again do a single crochet. Go into the next V stitch, again do a single crochet. So from now on we're going to work single crochet only in the V stitches. So I've done my 11 single crochet and now we came here where we have 3 single crochet in one stitch. In every stitch you're going to work 2 single crochet. Into the first you're going to do 2 single crochet, also trying to do it in the V. So here is 1 and 2. In the same stitch 2 single crochet. Go into the next one, find the V, work two single crochet there. Go into the next one, do another two single crochet. So now again we're going to work 11 single crochet. After you've done your 11 single crochet, we're going to do the same like we did on the other side. We come to the 3 single crochet in one stitch, we're going to work into the first 2 single crochet. So 
into the second another two single crochet and into the last stitch you're going to work two single crochet Now we're going to close it in the same way. We're going to skip the first, go into the second from the back, insert a hook there, bring this yarn over the hook and pull it through the stitch. Then we're going to go into the stitch that we skip under this loop here you're going to insert the hook into the v-stitch, bring the yarn, pull the thread, yarn over and pull the loop over the stitch. Then we're going to chain one and this will be our first stitch. So our second row is ready, you don't need to worry about the shape, at the end I'm going to tell you some tricks how to make your base to very flat. So we have our first stitch, again we're going to work one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So we have our 11 stitches. Now we came to the part where we have two single crochet in every stitch. Two, four, six. Into the first stitch we're going to work two single crochet there. There is one and two. Into the next one we're going to work only one single crochet into the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet into the next one only one single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next one only one single crochet So what we did here, we're going to do also on the other side. Now again, we're going to work one single crochet into the next 11 stitches. After you've done your 11 single crochet into the next stitch, we're going to work two single crochet so here is one 
in two into the next one you're going to do only one single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next one only one single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet and into the last stitch only one single crochet again we're gonna close it into the same way like we did skip the first stitch go into the second from the back bring the yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch we're gonna go into the skip it stitch insert the hook there bring the yarn pull the thread yarn over then you're gonna chain one and this will be our first stitch we have our first stitch now we're gonna work one single crochet into the next 10 stitches so after you do your 11 single crochet you're gonna do into the next two stitches one single crochet in every stitch into the next one you're gonna do two single crochet then again one single crochet into the next two stitches into the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet then again one single crochet into the next two stitches into the next one you're going to do again two single crochet now you're going to work one single crochet into the next 13 stitches again we're going to do what we did on the other side into the next two stitches you're going to work one single crochet in every stitch into the next one you're going to work two single crochet one single crochet into the next two stitches into the next one you're going to do two single crochet one single crochet into the next two stitches and into the last stitch you're going to work two single crochet again we're going to close it into the same way like we did before skip the first stitch go into the second from the back bring the yarn pull it to the stitch go to the st stitch that we skip bring the yarn pull the thread yarn over pull the loop and chain one and this will be our first stitch 
So we have our first stitch, now you're going to work one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So I have my 11 single crochet. Into the next stitch you're going to do 2 single crochet. You're going to do 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches. Into the next one you're going to work 2 single crochet. Again 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches. Into the next one you're going to do 2 single crochet. Then again one single crochet into the next three stitches. Work one single crochet into the next eleven stitches. So I've done my 11 single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to work two single crochet. We're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches. Into the next one, you're going to do two single crochet. Into the next three stitches, you're going to work one single crochet in every stitch. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to finish with one single crochet into the next three stitches. Now we're going to pull the thread and we're going to cut the yarn. We're going to skip the first stitch, we're going to go into the second, also from the back bring the yarn and pull it to the stitch then you're gonna go one stitch back only into the back loop bring the yarn over pull it to the stitch and this is how we close it then on the back you're gonna hide the thread So our base is ready, now I'm going to tell you some tricks how to make it flat. You will need a small fabric and an iron to do your base flat. You're going to put your fabric over the base and with the iron with steam you're going to do it for some minutes. You're going to do it on both sides, on the front side and also on the back side. And then you will see that the shape of the base will be very flat. So this is how it looks after I iron it. But to be more sure you can leave some heavy thing on overnight to be more sure. So guys this was a tutorial. Our next tutorial will be a bag with this bottom, so I hope you enjoy it, so we'll see each other next time, bye bye.